I'm about to light the first fire in my little winter well woodlander medium wood burning tent stove. Had it for a few days now. First opportunity to try to burn it in. Rained last night. It's very, very humid this morning. I'm going to try to light this fire. We'll see how it goes. Put a couple of small pieces of uh, fat wood in there. Uh, down here we call it pine lighter. That should get it going. It lit up pretty good. It's going now. I think I'm going to close the door, adjust the damper, see how that works. It'll be pretty neat burning it in a tent at night. See the fire through this little window. It kind of glow inside the tent. That'll be neat. Plus warmth, that's important. Looks like it's drawing pretty good. See no smoke coming out anywhere except up the pipe. off a good bit of heat. Of course it's hot out here right now but still I think that's going to warm a tent pretty well. I think I'm going to be very happy with this purchase. These little things aren't cheap. They're not overly expensive. Very well made. Stainless steel everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work real well on a real cold night down there in the tent. Stove's getting pretty hot. These handles are still cool to the touch. Coming from a day of hunting or hike, hiking, uh, Wildlife photography, whatever. Got wet socks in your boot, take them off, hang them on these racks, dry them out. That's what you want to see right there coming out of your stack. Just a shimmer of heat. Whether you're burning a little stove or a smoker, you don't want to see a lot of smoke coming out. 
it means that the wood's combusting correctly. You can see the pipe and the body starting to turn a little color. That's normal. I'm going to let this run for about an hour. Been on now about 20 minutes. Maybe a little longer than an hour. Let it cool down. Pack it back up. And get ready for camping. It's just towards the end of July here in South Mississippi. So, it's a couple more months before cool weather. I've got a new tent ordered. Should be here in the middle of August. Really looking forward to that. It is a uh, white duck 13 foot regatta bell tent. I'm really looking forward to uh, having uh, a really good tent to camp in. I've been camping in cheap tents all these years and it wasn't a lot of fun. I still enjoyed it. But this new canvas tent, I think, is going to be a great experience, especially with this little tent stove in there in cool weather. Yeah, it's starting to take on a really nice color right now. Burning well, drawing well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. I've been running for about 40 minutes now. I just put some more wood in there. I'm going to let that burn out and let that be it. You just need to burn these in the first time before you use them in your tent. They say because of oils and stuff that's on the uh, on the stove, you need to burn that off outside rather than in, in your tent. Other thing in my previous video I didn't talk about was this little ash scraper. Of course, it's curved on the bottom to fit the curve of the bottom of the stove. You can reach up underneath the grate and scrape out ash as you need to. You need to have something to catch it in if you're if you're in your tent. Of course, I've got a I've got a fireproof mat that I'll have underneath this in the tent. But this has a little claw on it to take the, this top off with. Now I haven't done this yet, so I'll have to figure out how to do it. And you take this lid off, get all that flame out of there, set a pot on there. I guess it will uh, eat your pot better. I, I don't know. This this is pretty hot. I think you can cook on top of this without taking this off. But this this little ash scraper has got this claw on it to uh, open this lid. Been about two hours now since I first lit the fire. Probably been 45 minutes since I put the last wood on. It's burned out. Still kind of hot to the touch. Pipes have cooled down. They're still a little warm. But this thing retained heat pretty good, so I think 
if your wood burns out in your stove, in your tent, that this is going to still put off a little heat for a little while. I'm well pleased with it. I'm just, I just can't wait now for the weather to turn cool, so get out there camping and enjoy the winter. Thank you all for watching.